Alrighty, y'all. Welcome back to the show. We're looking at Italy this time. Some emergency vehicles responding uh, near the area of Rome, mostly, I believe, a compilation. And uh, this is from a channel called Brand War Spotter 13. Now, this will be linked in the description down below. This is a nice long video, uh, which we're only going to react to a couple parts of. So make sure to check out uh, the whole thing uninterrupted with the link down below and check out the channel. This was suggested to me uh, on Discord by Matteo Panzetto. So thank you for that. And there's also another video we'll be looking at with a clip of a Lamborghini police car. Sounds amazing. It sounds so Italian. That sounds really cool. <laughs> and uh, that is from Matteo Suem. Uh, that is the channel that will be linked down below as well. Let's jump straight into this. As always, first ambulance, very colorful, orange, high, like a highlighter yellow and blue. Uh, as always, I'll be interested in looking at the environment, the surroundings, the traffic, and then of course, emergency vehicles. I just love to soak it all in. It's so um, different than I'm used to. Interesting cadence. Remember, all the countries have different cadence, siren cadence. That one's really loud, but effective. <laughs> now, that's funny. Uh, the first two vehicles we saw, by the way, even that uh, ambulance was a Fiat. I believe this is a Fiat. I recognize that logo. Keep in mind, I used to work uh, for a long time for uh, a Chrysler assembly plant where we made Jeeps. And, of course, uh, for most of the time, it was known as FCA, otherwise known as Fiat Chrysler Automobiles. So I know the Fiat logo pretty well. <laughs> wow. Policia Roma Capital. Or Capitale, maybe. I Forgive me if I'm saying that wrong. I, I don't know any Italian. That was interesting, though. Interesting car. Ooh, he's got to sneak by this bus. Or, no, he's got to go around. No, he can't. That bus has got to move. I want to do videos on uh, buses, too. Dang. He got him to move. That one's more plain in appearance, but he's in a hurry. Oh, look, at we're at a fire station. Mitsubishi fire trucks and Evacos. Of course, Evacos. So a lot of domestic, uh, you know, home country brands featured here. Of course, to Italy, like Fiat, Aveco. Very cool. Aveco makes some cool trucks. That's what I've learned recently. I wonder if these fire trucks have... Uh, one of the Veco V8s that I've seen in the semi trucks. That's a that's a neat vehicle. Seems to be that all the vehicles, fire trucks and ambulances included, I believe, have gone with all blues for the lights. Again, that's always interesting to see if they use. Blue and white, all blues, you know, red and blue, blue, red, and amber, you know, there's all, all these different combinations. But it seems a lot of countries use all blues in Europe, which is interesting. Nice, look at that skill. Look at that skill. He backed that big, on, big old truck right in. One swoop, got it right. Nice tucked in behind the beam there. I think he's done that a time or two, yeah? <laughs> Very cool. Ooh, we got some uh, motorbikes. The blues as well. Black and red bikes. Those are cool. Ooh, what is this? That's just a regular bus. I thought maybe it was like a tour, like a, like a tourism, like a, what do you call that? Is tour bus the right word? Tour bus makes me think like what, <laughs> like 
music vans drive around as a tour bus. I I was thinking more of like like in famous cities, they'll have like a bus that takes tourists around and show them the sights. I don't know if that's the right word, tour bus, but I don't think it is. I think this is a regular bus with just an advertisement on it. <laughs> Beautiful city, by the way. Uh, streets look nice and clean for the most part. The architecture, as always, very grand, very different than here in the U.S., as it should be. Very historic. And, uh, you know, Rome is pretty historic. <laughs> so uh, there's no denying that. It's been around for a while. Yeah, all blues. Ooh, look at now we have a uh, a Peugeot. Wow, and this one looks perhaps maybe a bit newer, or it's just a different design. Again, with that weird, I've seen these in some other videos, like uh, these really bizarre uh, lighting packages that like mold down on towards the windshield there this this rake area and then go onto the roof it's very interesting looking right uh of course this one is white and orange with all blues and it is a peugeot so very that's a cool unit right there wow everyone is in uh warm attire short sleeves a lot of people are in shorts, you know, not even pants. So I'm assuming it was a pretty warm out this day. Uh, perhaps it was summer. I know Italy does have, I would, you know, usually know for pretty good weather in most big cities uh, all year. But I would assume this is still maybe spring or summer based on the uh, clothing. Wow, where is, that's a different looking ambulance. Looks like a beautiful day out. That is different. This doesn't have any markings on it. Huh. Now, you guys always do a great job in the comments. Feel free to educate me, correct me on anything I missed here. Um, this one looks quite different than a uh, few ambulances we've seen in the last couple minutes. That one's really clean. Ha. <laughs> Saw that girl doing a pose for the picture. There's a small one, perhaps some sort of uh, transport vehicle for equipment or personnel. Yeah, these are these are back to the normal ambulances. That one's dirty, needs a wash. There's one of these smaller, <laughs> these are so funny. They're just different, you know? They're totally different. What is that model called? I, I know it's a Fiat, but what is it? Is that like a Fiat? Is that the Fiat Panda? I'm not sure. I'm not a Fiat expert. Uh, I actually couldn't tell you most of their model names even. Um, but I will say, oh my God, right there. If I pause it quick. There, you see that Jeep um, in the background there? We sell those here in the United States as well. Uh, but from what I remember, um, those were actually made <laughs> here in Italy in this video. Like, they were made in Italy and then, you know, imported to the U.S. as a Jeep Renegade, I think they call it. Uh, but I believe that's a Fiat underneath. Uh, pretty through and through, so. Ooh, what do we have here? There's some old-fashioned lights up there. Blue and white. Guardia di Finanza. Finanza. Please, again, forgive my pronunciation of stuff. I don't mean to get them so wrong. I don't want to offend anyone. Um, that's interesting. Some sort of security vehicle or... I don't know. That was interesting. Look at the lighting package here. I can't tell if that's a Renault or if... I think it's a Renault. It looks like the logo. Cool lighting with that light bar across the front. That's neat. I like that. Wow, look at that place. That is a beautiful area. That just looks like a fun place to be. I 
tell you what, that siren cadence seems like even on camera. I mean, we're looking through a screen here on camera. Uh, so it's hard to tell, you know, things are always louder and more impactful in, in person, in real life. But I can tell just through video that that siren cadence really travels. Uh, it seems to be really effective. That's what it's supposed to do is alert people uh, so they know an emergency vehicle is coming through. And I tell you what, it, that one seems to, more so than others I've heard, really travel. Like, you can hear it coming a far way away. Here is a, looks like to be like an unmarked unit. I mean, it is dark, but I can't see any markings. It's like a plane. Is it a Volkswagen? Yeah, that's sneaky, huh? Maybe it wasn't a Volkswagen. I don't know. But it's got some blue lights flashing. I'm going to assume maybe an undercover police officer. Well, er, an unmarked unit, rather. Whoa, hear this? Ooh, cool car. Wow. That's a police car, for sure. All blue and white with blue light bar. And this was an Alfa Romeo, right? It was. That's an Alfa Romeo. I don't know what the model would be called, but it's definitely an Alfa Romeo. Really cool design. We uh, do have those in the in the United States, but they're on the rarer side. I want, also want to point out, there's a Ford station wagon. Interesting. I also want to point out something. Right here, there is in the foreground. You see in where my mouse cursor is here in the bottom right of the screen. There is a Jeep Cherokee. Uh, I'm assuming it's called the Cherokee in. Uh, Italy as well, maybe maybe not. At, at least it looks like a Jeep Cherokee. It could be a Jeep Compass, but I'm pretty sure it's a Jeep Cherokee. Uh, we made both. We made the Jeep Compass at one time, and then we switched to making the Jeep Cherokee at that uh, Chrysler FCA plant I was talking about earlier uh, where I used to work, and that is, of course, in Illinois. So, yeah, interesting. They were a worldwide car. But, yeah, that's a really cool police car. Totally... Uh, different than most I've seen on these videos from different countries. Totally different compared to American cop cars as well. There's that Aveco. Aveco trucks are cool. I'm a, I'm a fan. Look at the architecture. So wild. Beautiful place. Okay, we got a motorcycle unit. Oh, yeah. Wow. Now that's a police car. <laughs> Italy. Bravo. <laughs> that is the coolest police car I've ever seen. That's even a really cool motorcycle as well. Get a look at that. How neat. Cool motorcycle, cool Lamborghini police car. Get one more look there. That is the um, that is the Uricon, right? Not the bigger uh, Murcielago. But yes, yes, I know. The Aventador is what I meant to say. That's the modern one. <laughs> the uh, Uricon. Wow, that is super cool. <laughs> I uh, don't suppose you'd want to run from that guy. <laughs> All right. Driving it like they should. <laughs> that was super cool. I love how it even has a mini light bar on it. And um, I couldn't tell if it had sirens on or not or if that was the, the motorcycle sirens. I couldn't tell. But really, really cool. Ending to that one. I really hope you enjoyed this one. I know I did. Lots of different vehicles. Again, I'm loving exploring all around the world, especially Europe lately with emergency vehicles and the responses. Uh, these are really, really fun. I'm enjoying getting educated about this kind of thing. 
I just find it fascinating, and there's going to be a lot more to come. You guys have amazing suggestions. Please keep them up. And, uh, of course, let me know any facts, anything I should know, or experiences uh, relating to this video that you would like to share with me. I do appreciate that as well. I certainly do hope that you enjoyed this one. Please throw a like on there if you did. And, of course, subscribe to be part of this amazing community. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. Stay safe out there, and uh, I'll catch you later.